Hi folks. Yeah. It's Di. Well, I got a video that's a little different than what you folks are used to getting uh, lately. And I'm just getting a little adjusted here. Um, and I hope you enjoy this one. Um, I usually don't do review type videos, but I'm going to do a review video. On my last camp outing, my oldest boy came and visited out at camp. And he brought me all kinds of goodies. But he also brought me a gift. And I told him, I said, I'm going to do a review on it so that folks can see exactly what it is that he gave me. Well, here it is. It's a first aid kit, but it's one of their survival kits. It's by Minoki. This kit is not very heavy, a little over a pound. It's packed full of stuff, packed full of stuff. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, I'm sitting at a little table here, I'm going to be tipping that camera down to the table and opening this up and showing you every single item that came in this kit. You won't see my face in that whole process. After I've shown it all to you, I'll tip the camera back up and, and maybe have a couple of comments about the kit and say farewell at that point. So, how about it? Let's dig into this kit, do a review on it, see what kind of goodies are in this first aid kit. Now, I do need to say, why did he get me this? Sty has a tendency of hurting himself out in the woods, and he just wants his pop to be a little safer. I do carry first aid supplies with me all the time. But nothing this involved. Nothing this involved. This is a survival first aid kit. So let's see what there is in it that makes it a survival first aid kit. So let's get right at it, okay? Okay. Here we are. A survival first aid kit. Let's get into it. Let's see what we got going inside this package. One thing I'll point out is it's this is not an actual soft case that it's in. It's a firm case. So I kind of like that. And the size of it, um, oh, by golly. The size of it. It's five inches wide, eight inches tall, and it's only two and a half inches thick. So it's really not that large. Fit into a backpack just nicely. So let's take a peek. Oh boy. Okay. I'm going to hold this up. As you can see, it is cram packed full of stuff. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the left side and work my way over to the right side. Let's see what's here. Well, we'll just pull, start pulling things out. These are just 
it's a good size pack also it's waterproof elastic bandages lots of them we'll set those to the side there's two gauze packs here it's an elastic bandage it's one of those types of gauze that if you 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 need to have a firm wrap these are elastic so you can put a patch of gauze on and use these elastic bandages to hold it in place these are really nice there's two of them in here set those aside now we're getting well I'm gonna if you'll notice there's two little pouches here one has a compression band in it um, or tourniquet The other pouch has a, looks like a fairly decent little scissor. Oh, and a bunch of safety pins. Bunch of safety pins. Safety pins, oh my gosh. You talk about the uses you can get out of safety pins. All good items so far. I can tell already this is the survival half of the kit and this is more the medical half. We did have some medical items in here but now we're going to get into the survival side. I'm not going to take this completely out of the, its small package but it's a fishing kit. Looks like a good fishing kit too. It's got a couple of swivels and quick quick clips. It's got a couple of hooks. It's got a couple of lead sinkers. It looks like a lot of line. This material, I'm not sure what it's for. It's got a couple of sinkers and it's got a sheet of tin foil in it. Looks like a nice little fishing kit. What else we got in here? We'll pull this out. Check this out. It's got a whistle. I don't want to blow on it hard. I'm inside my apartment. <laughs> it's got this carabiner. That's a compass. So I can see that you could very easily take this and clip this carabiner anywhere on your gear and have it nice and handy. Now looking at this compass, well, knowing where I'm sitting right now, that compass is a good one. It knows where it's pointing. It's got a nice face. I, I really do like this compass. For one of these kit kind of comp compasses, this is a good one. And it's heavy. It's well made. It's not a cheap plastic compass. So, that's nice. Compass and whistle. What do we have here? Oh, look at here. It's got a cable saw in it. Now that, you know what I would use a cable saw like this for? If I took down a large animal and I wanted to break it into quarters or smaller, you put that in the joints it, on the bones and it's easy for cutting through bone, cutting through joints. If you've never used one of these before out in the woods, 
I would much rather take a survival knife and try to whittle something into pieces than try to use one of these cable saws. They're difficult, they take a long time to use, they're just not that efficient. Now I know some people argue with me on that, but it's to each their own. So that one I might just eliminate from this kit. Something I might throw in my backpack, at the bottom of my backpack or something, but no need for it in this kit. What else do we have? Oh, it's got a nice little folder in it. I see this right away, and it's built, oops, it's built with what's like its own carabiner built into it so that you could clip it on your pack, you could clip it to a, if you've got molly straps or something, you could clip it through a molly strap, clip it to a belt hoop. It's also got the belt clip on it, so you can side carry this right on your belt or in your pocket. So that's kind of nice, and it's, it's heavy, believe it or not. It actually has some weight to it. Let's see what the blade's like. Oh, a nice common blade. I can't believe it came from the factory fairly sharp. I'll want to touch that edge up, but it's fairly sharp. You could use this right out of the kit. Just a tiny little bit of wobble in the blade. Not much. I, I'm actually impressed with this. Again, with these kits, you get blades like this. And I, another thing I like is it's a locking blade. It's locked. You just push the back of the handle. Where I was saying that's like a carabiner clip. You just push the back of the handle slightly and it'll unlock. Holds right up. Nice knife. What else we got? Oh, look at here. Can never have enough of these. Nice ferro rod. Ferro rod with a striker. common um, hacksaw type blade striker. It's a good size ferro rod. Oh, it's got it's got a real heavy finish on it like a painted finish and same with this um, striker it's painted just thick with paint I'll have to scrape all that off yeah I'm gonna have to do some doctoring on this before I would depend on it but it's nice that there's a extra ferro rod it to me you don't have enough of them what else we got in here boy we're really starting to get a bunch of stuff going here What's in this little, little sheath? It's got a belt strap on it. Oh, check it out. It's a little stiff from being new and stored. Nice little multi-tool. Feels good. For its size, it feels really good. It's, and it's heavy. It looks like it's got, I'm not going to go through every one of these, but it looks like it's got an awl, it's got a Phillips screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, a fi file, it's got, if that's supposed to be a knife edge, I think that's supposed to be a knife, um, there's no edge to it. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure what they intended that to be, but it's just not shaped like a knife blade, but it's dull as can be. It's got bottle opener, another awl, flat screwdriver. Oh, it looks like another blade. No, nope, it's a saw. Look at that tiny little saw on there. 
I don't know. It's got good teeth on it. Good serrated edge. But what in the world would you saw with that? I mean... Okay, you can, at least you can fold it so you can hold it properly. But, you're not going to saw anything any bigger than my little finger. I mean... If that's all the bigger the saw is going to be, you can break that. You can, you can snap that. Yeah. So that's one thing with multi tools. I, I I'm a little prejudiced when it comes to. Oh, it's got a nice wire cutter in here, but I'm kind of prejudiced towards these because a lot of these are just wasted, just wasted. Um, I consider them to be filler. Just something to add to the piece. Okay, so that, folks, is the survival portion, I hope. Of this kit. Oh no, it's not. There's one more thing and it's painted black. It was hiding in here. A flashlight. Oh, it's got a zoom lens on it. And it's not functioning because it, I can tell by the weight of it, there's no battery. We'll take a quick peek. Yep, it takes a double A battery, a single double A. And I just don't happen to have one close at hand to throw it in there and give it a try. Doggone it. But it's nice to know there's a flashlight and there will be a battery put in this kit to go with that. A couple of them, in fact. Okay. So, that's a pretty good assortment. Now, let's get into the medical side. This video is going to be a little bit long, so let's just get moving along here. What do we have here? A pair of latex gloves. Gotta have latex gloves. Medical tape. Little pack of medical tape in a ster sterile bag. That's nice. Two packages of Q-tips. Those come in handy also. Fire making, get something in your eye, dressing a wound, cleaning out your ears. <laughs> oh, okay, it's got a mouth-to-mouth mouth-to-mouth -mouth, um, resuscitation um, mask so that you're not coming into direct contact when you're giving mouth-to-mouth -to, -mouth to someone. Oh, this should have been on the other side. You've seen these before. A credit card survival tool. Yep, knew it. Credit card survival tool. You folks have all seen those before. Take a look here. It's got a card in here. Oh, yeah. Just a card that tells you what each feature, each feature of this tool is. Again, those are tools. You know, it's got a little saw blade on it. You're not going to cut much with that. Um, so... And it's got a couple of little knife edges. I don't see that's one thing I don't like with these is this has got a knife edge right here on the end, which is fine, but you got to hold hold it like this to cut. And if you wanted to use the blade in that direction, you'd want to get a better grip on it, and you can't because the saw teeth are on this side. You can't 
that you'd have to wrap this in something to hold on to it to use that knife safely because those saw teeth I'm telling you they're they're good ones on here they're sharp as the devil you wouldn't want to be wrapping your wrapping that or up in your hand and trying to cut with it so to me these this is another one of those items that's well it's it's neat it's fun but its purposes are so limited that belongs here with the chain with the chain um, cable saw <laughs> oh we got a big tweezer they packed a lot in here we've got wow got a ton of iodine prep pads that's nice I like those iodine prep pads and then a nice huge stack of alcohol prep pads those are good items what do we got beside it here what's this oh these are cleansing wipes and they're alcohol free they're just you know basically they're wet ones without alcohol which is nice um, there's two four five there's ten of them here so that's a good supply of those what do we have here it's a, this is a good one um, it's a triangular bandage and it shows all the applications that you can use it for and this is a 96 by 96 centimeter by 136 centimeter that's a pretty good sized one pretty good sized um, triangular bandage that's nice to have that's really nice to have in the kit what do we got here oh first aid blanket the good old-fashioned space blanket this is a pretty good one 130 centimeter 130 centimeter by 210 centimeter it's good, pretty good size um, looks like it's a pretty good quality one so what I can see right off hand that's it folks that's it case is the case is empty and there's everything okay hopefully you can just get a rough idea what all's there okay now I'm gonna move this camera back up and talk to you for a moment well folks there you go there is the survival first aid kit that my boy running water gifted me it's pretty nice pretty nice um, little first aid kit now what will I do with this first aid kit well there were a couple items I'm just gonna pull out of it and I can see that there's a few things I would like to add to it um, not many just a few few other items and then I'm gonna keep this in my either in my truck or I'm going to keep it in my adventure trailer. This is something that I'm going to be putting in my day pack when I go out backpacking. It's to me, it's too heavy for an everyday carry kind of thing. It's everyday carry in the sense that it's always in my adventure trailer when I'm out on adventures. Or it's always in my truck when I'm out and about. That's the level of EDC it'll be. I'm not carrying this on my person. Um, if I were to do that, all of these survival items, the fishing kit, I might hang on to that compass and whistle. But the cable saw, the credit card survival tool, those would go. The folding knife probably wouldn't go. That ferrule rod 
wouldn't go. I have a favorite two ferro rods already that those are always with me. And that's back to the um, knife. I always have two, three knives on me already anyhow. Um, the multi-tool, I kind of like that little multi-tool. I'm not sure if I'd carry that with me either. I'd probably carry a larger one if I did carry a multi-tool at all. And that flashlight, maybe. Probably not. Probably not. Otherwise, all of the medical-related items can stay in there, and they should be enhanced, added to. Um, I don't need a fishing kit, because I already have one that's um, even more compact. Um, the space blanket... I might leave it in there, but it, this one takes up a lot of space. It's kind of packed loose and thick. I don't know. Um, I have a heavy survival blanket that typically is in my day pack all the time. So that's much heavier than one of these space blankets, but it does the exact same thing and then some. So I can see a lot of things in here, and that's the way these kits are. Now, this kit would be great for somebody that has nothing. I, the, I'm starting out, I don't have a thing. I don't have a thing. I don't have a knife. I don't have a multi-tool. I don't have a good flashlight. I sure don't own a compass. Um, I don't have any medical kind of, you know, first aid stuff at all. This would be a good kit for them. This would be a good kit because they don't have anything. But for some of us that are a little more seasoned, a lot of these items we already have. Now, I do have to say though, I'm actually impressed with the quality of the items that were in here. I've seen so many of these kits where the where the items were just, I, I mean, they're dime store junk. This knife, for example, I am really impressed. It's you know, composite handle, typical folder. And it's got some neat little options. I like the clip. I could clip this even on my shirt pocket. And, oops, if I could get to my shirt pocket, right? But, um, see now, I could clip that to my shirt pocket and not even know it's there. So why not carry it? I mean, it's it's good spare little knife. Now, if you don't have a knife at all, there's a starter knife for you. This knife isn't going to do a lot for you, though. You know, it'll do all the basics, but you're not going to be doing any heavy knife work with it. And you sure aren't going to baton with this thing. You'll bust it up right away. Otherwise, I actually am impressed with this knife. And that's the way I feel about everything here. I don't like how they coated the ferro rod and the striker with so much paint. Um, and there's nothing in here that says, you should prep your ferro rod and striker before you put this into your vehicle or your backpack because you're going to get out there and you're going to spend 10 minutes trying to strike a fire off of something that you got to scrape all the paint off of. Um, so... But otherwise, everything seems to be of top-notch quality. I'm very, very impressed. And I definitely want to thank my son, Running Water, for his contribution to his <laughs> pop's well-being. And yes, this is going to be with me. It's going to be out there with me. Like I said, other than a couple of items, all of this is going right back into this case and it's going it's going in the adventure trailer or my truck and if i go spend two three nights somewhere away from any, anybody or anything i just might throw this kit in the backpack i just might because it's it's with a couple items i add to it this will be an excellent kit so there you go Sty doesn't usually do reviews but i did a review on this 
on the Monoki first aid kit survival kits okay and I have to say what would I give them on a rating of 1 to 10 on how well they put this kit together I give nobody a 10 nobody a 10 unless I put the kit together myself then I'd give myself a 10 because nobody can put a kit together that best suits just you except for yourself so nobody gets a 10 but I'm going to give Minoki an 8 I'm going to give them an 8 on this kit now I do not know the cost I do not know the cost running water gave this to me as a gift and I'm not going to I'm not I the last thing I do is is I don't go and I look up the value of a gift received so if they're not over charging for this kit I'd say that this kit should run between 30 and 45 bucks I don't know I don't know and as far as value goes I'll let you folks I'll let you folks decide whether the dollar value matches what I described to you so with that I want to thank you all for sitting through this it was a long review but there's a lot of stuff in here and we're gonna maybe do a few more of these kind of things in the future so until the next time guys if you haven't subscribed to me you punch me in the ugly mug it's gonna show up right here that old logo of mine just give it a good punch over here oop <laughs> yeah over here I'll pop a couple of videos up or something or they'll be over there or down below um, something for you to follow so until the next time guys Thanks so much for being here, and don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, leave your comments, what do you think of the kit? Yep, just wanted to share it with you. So until then, hey, you all have a very, very nice day. Bye-bye.